were entering a, a place called Iron Bridge, which is a World Heritage Site. Afternoon, good evening, everyone in the world. This is the Boss Couple 22. Today, we're in a place called Iron Bridge. So, we're going to have a look at it. We're in the middle of England. This is the Middle England tour, it continues. So, let's have a look here, see how it gets down. You ready for this one, babe? Oh, yes, I am. You sure, baby? Yes. Okay, let's go then. As you see below us is the murky, green, brown water of the River Severn. This water, you definitely don't want to swim in. But if you do, be at your own risk. This is Middle England, you know, the Middle Ages hasn't changed. If you know history, you're talking about the Wars of the Roses. Which way should we go, guys? Anglo-Saxons arrived in England in the 5th century and formed small socio-political units. They eventually grew into kingdoms. These kingdoms gradually united by the 10th century and became England. By the time of the Norman conquest in 1066, all of England was divided into shires. This is just such a historical place. This area was the main hub for all ironworks now the UK and the river was used to transport those ironworks to various destinations. This tea house was established in 1779. Just imagine that. And here's a conversion. It's now a bed and breakfast, but back in the days, who knows what it might have been. Lodges for sailors, perhaps. The best time is ice cream time. The prices weren't bad. £2.90 for ice cream. 60p for a flake. My God. So we can here now see the markings of a carriageway from the river to the bank. Okay, so we entered the Seven Warehouse. Let's take a look.
about the uh, the ruler that I was showing you uh, further downstream in the last video is another example. These are the heights where the water would have reached. So back in 1947, and that look. And this section tells particularly of the story of the West Indies, particularly Jamaica, where people had left the island to come and live and work. Letters were written to loved ones abroad. And here are actual letters that were sent per avion by Emma. Travel documentation, passports, they're all here. Examples and actual. A very famous American singer known for disco songs, hit and run and love sensation.
in days gone by, this was what you call swimwear. We had a very enjoyable and pleasant experience here. We learned quite a lot of things. So thank you very much to the Bowman Arts Council for that. I have Bridge Museum and my beautiful wife for accompanying me on this, our UK stretch. We nearly got suckered in by the tourist shop. Well, that's it from us. Until the next one, stay safe. And do remember, don't forget, like, share, comment, and please subscribe. We are the Boss Couple 22, and we're out of here. See you in the next one.